Austin Coleman is back in uh, kick return with uh, Austin with uh, Aaron Knight. And the kick will be coming right to left, end over end, low line drive, and it'll be Coleman fumbled the ball, picks it up uh, outside the 20, runs to the right, cuts to the 25, 30, trying to nice move back to the middle of the field to the 40, 45, 50. He's got a chance. He's got blockers in front, inside the 30, inside the 20, to the 15, to the 10, and he's got a touchdown. Austin Coleman opening the game for the second-ranked Cougars with a touchdown return of 88 yards, and just like that, it is. 6 nothing USF. Well, wow, Joe, you know, <laughs> that was the most impressive wall set up for Coleman to go up the right hash mark. They had it sealed off beautifully, and then he cut back across the field, and the guys who were on the, on the far end of the field regrouped and, and laid a couple of blocks downfield. Trying to answer, short end over end at the pooch kick. It'll grind to know it. That's a free ball and St. Francis had it and they've got another chance for it. It'll be picked up inside the 15 and that will be returned for a touchdown by number 43, Matt Tippmans. And just like that, the Cougars are on the board with back-to-back -back scores. And we've not even taken a snap yet in a snap from scrimmage. Joe, I think Tippman picked it up and then he got hit from behind and fumbled it into the end zone. I'm not sure you can do that. Right. They're going to mark it down at the 15. Goal line offense with Justin Bozier in at quarterback. Kobe Fry up on the wing to the right side. Long count from the line of scrimmage. They do not have play clocks here at this high school field. Here's a give and it's a run by Antoine Campbell and he'll run into the end zone, turning the, the right corner in on the first snap from scrimmage. It will be a 14 yard touchdown run and you got the feeling this is going to be a long day wow. for the folks from the Wolverine State. It's going to be a long day for everybody, I think, uh, with the with the clock running so slowly. 30 seconds into the game, Joe, that's a 20, uh, I mean, a 14-yard run by Campbell on the first play from scrimmage. Now here's Bozier, wants to throw out of the pocket, he's got a lot of time, throws downfield, he's got a man out there, and that's a fingertip catch by Coleman, and he holds on for a touchdown. That one 39 yards on the first snap from scrimmage, and at the 12-11 mark, getting ugly in a hurry here, 20-0 in favor of St. Francis. Joe, so that was a great, I don't care who you're playing against, that was a great pass, it was a great pattern. Coleman kept running under it. It looked like it was going to maybe be underthrown, but Coleman's got that elite speed for this level and caught it on the fingertips over his shoulder. It was a well-delivered ball. It was good time for Bozier to throw it and a perfectly executed catch and throw. Yards of the line of scrimmage on the defensive right side. Gallon dropping the throw, trying to screen the ball. That's picked off, stumbling, and St. Francis uh, will have it again as a cutback to the right side, and that's a hit just outside the five-yard line, so the pick coming up, and uh, St. Francis will have the ball back once again on that interception, and is that Tracy Hathaway? I think it yep. was. Yep, Joe Hathaway's playing uh, uh, strong safety today because of the uh, suspension of um, Humphrey, and, and uh, Hathaway makes the interception, returns it. I, I thought he had a chance to go for another touchdown. He ends up inside the 10 at the 7. Is that Jeremy Mays has come in uh, tight to the left side of the goal line offense now. It'll be third down and goal. Fried motion takes the handoff left side on a sweep, trying to turn the corner and looking for the pylon. He got there, touchdown. Boy, he did. What a great effort. Four-yard touchdown run on the sweep left side. Kobe Fry at the 616 mark at six to the St. Francis total. Bozier again, motion. Coleman looks. Play action fake, wants to throw the fade left side. He's got 90 over the shoulder catch. He's gone. Inside the 20, inside the 10, and another touchdown for St. Francis. Good for 75 yards. And I tell you what, Coleman is having himself a night this was. But still, the same statement, having a great day. Boy, that time, Joe Strazelkowski, the defender, bit on play action. He had his eyes peeking in the backfield, and Knight ran by him. That one's good for 75 yards, Joe, and that's by far the longest pass for a touchdown this year for the Cougars by, what, 13 yards so far. Receiver set here near side in a diamond. They screen the ball. There is a catch, and they're looking on a double pass, the throw back to the Nathan Smith, and he's lost the football. It's going to be picked up by St. Francis and return for another touchdown. And uh, once again, the Cougars into the end zone, and that one was even more bizarre. Wow, they threw a... They threw a backside screen to the receiver who it was a lateral. And Blitz showing defensive right side. Miller drops the throw, screens the ball right side, running room. Here's Campbell, gets by one. He's got the first down. He's got a chance to score. He'll go inside the 10, inside the 5, and a touchdown. 
So St. Francis on fourth and nine scores on a little screen pass and a little flaps, 38 yards, and the Cougars now have 47 on the board. Joe Campbell did a little wheel route on that, and the ball was delivered nicely on the run by Miller. Tell you, you know, regardless of the score at halftime, you come out and you try to instill it's a 0-0 game. Ooh. Running play for the Cardinals out across to the 15-yard line and some big hit. This 48-0 lead by the second-ranked Cougars. Long count from the line of scrimmage. Hands it off, and here's Adwood. Cuts it off, and he's into the second level to midfield and into Cardinal territory. And he had one man to beat as he brings it down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. And Garrett Harvey's been working out of the uh, the goal line offense, but here's Miller wants to throw, and to the right he's got it. He's got to Jeremy Mays has slipped out from his tight end position, and picks up the first down as he carries to the 32 yard line with the yak yards. Here's will go for it. Andre Turner's in at fullback now in the goal line offense. Long count again. Miller's got B.J. Moore in motion. Hands the ball to him. Has lead blockers. Turns the corner at the 25 to the 20. Takes a hit out of bounds down just outside the 15-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for USF with still 108 on the clock late in the second quarter. Well, 11 yards on a fourth down and four. And and Adwood at left half. Here's motion by Moore. But Miller wants to throw. Looks to the right corner. Wide open man out there. Easy touchdown toss to Aaron Bencher. He's never had an easier one in his career. That one good for 15 yards at the 48 second mark. 54 first half points now on the board for St. Francis. Coach, uh, just about everything worked in that first half. What do you tell your team so you can get something out of this second half? Well, we got to continue to play hard when you let up. And doesn't become a football game when you're a suspect injury. So we want to stay healthy in this half and try to get uh, everybody some work. And we need, we need to sharpen up some things, that's for sure. Quarterback situation, what are you going to do there? We're going to start Miller here in the second half. Okay, good luck, Coach, in the second half. Whiteouts to the left side. And here is Miller, short drop, looks left, checks off, throws right, crossing pattern, B.J. Moore, 30, 25, 20, and out of bounds near side around the 14-yard line. So I, I like the check down, the decision-making that time of Josh Miller wasn't there on the left, and he found on the safety valve, B.J. Moore in the crossing pattern. Dan Mutchler's now in on the offensive line. They go right back, and this time it'll be Garrett Harvey into the end zone for the, well, there's been no indication, and now they do have the touchdown. Is it Harvey or Turner? I thought it was 41. That would be Garrett you're, Harvey. You're right. You're exactly right. I shouldn't question the guru. <laughs> but you know what? You know who let him in there that I really like to see was Matheson. Matheson said a, he was, you know, kind of almost ISO out of that uh out of that goal line offense, and, and Matheson really pounded the linebacker as uh, Harvey followed him in. Garrett Harvey for the touchdown, 61 nothing now. Wes Hunsucker in there at quarterback. Motion Bustamani, play action fake. Hunsucker wants to throw. Flush to his right side, running, looking, throwing, and looking, and he completes to the 32-yard line, and there you saw a little bit of what that young man can bring as a little crossing pattern hooking up with Bryce Thornton. That was good for 25 yards, and you know what I loved about that, Joe, was his patience. Up on the wing, the right side, they've got uh, also split out here, Bryce Thornton once again. Hunsucker under center, hands the ball, Matthewson, a little running room, and carrying tacklers inside the 25, and bowls his way down close to the 22-yard line. That's what he gives you, that power of capability. Bustamani up on the wing to the right side, Hunsucker hands to Tunder, breaks it to the out, has some running room at the 15 to the 10 to the five straight arms, and into the end zone goes Andre Turner. Wow, that was a nice run, and the highlight of it, Joe, was the straight arm on Takari Johnson, the guy we've been talking about being such a good tackler who's been involved in so much. So at 228, 23-yard run, 228 to go in the game, 23-yard run for to Andre Turner. Uh, Kirk, congratulations, a big win for the Cougars today. And you just tied me up at uh, 249 victories on the all-time list. Well, I hope I pass you someday, that's for sure. <laughs> Talk about what it's like uh, preparing for a game like this. You were expected to win, and you went out and you won convincingly. Do you, how much do you accomplish today? You know, I, I thought we played hard in the first half. It was awfully tough coming out here in the second half with a 55 point game. Thank goodness we got out of here without uh, any major injuries. You saw a lot of different players today. Any players surprise you today? Yeah, I was glad to see Turner run as strong as he did there at the end. Um, or, or Hunt Sucker uh, threw a couple of nice balls. 
Defensively, uh, we started some younger kids today, so um, we've, we've got a, a tough one next week, and we got to get everybody ready. It's just one more last question. Talk about that psychological preparation now going into next week. We know that the game for next week has been on everybody's mind now for a couple of weeks. Is this the right kind of effort to have going into that last week in preparation for St. X? About the only thing you can say is, you know, you, you didn't come out too banged up. And we were banged up coming into this, so we got to get healthy and we got a great effort. Anytime time to play number one. We're on here, Austin. Congratulations. Two touchdowns in the first minute of the game today, but it took you 17 seconds to run 88 yards. When was the last time it took you that long? Uh, it took me a while. I had to weave in and out of there. That's why it took me so long. Well, we're talking to Austin Coleman, who did have a big game today. Now, going into this game, we just we, we, we thought we were going to probably win the football game. So what's the mindset of preparation for a team like this, first-year program? Well, I, well, mindset for them is just to come out to give it, give it they all. You know, we, we, we're a real high-ranked team, and all they can do is just play their best of the ability. Well, congratulations on a great game today. And talk about uh, now what the mindset is going into a completely different situation next week against the number one team in the country and a team that we owe a little payback to. Oh, yeah. Uh, next week, all we got to do is just come out, prepare, starting Tuesday. We, we take this win, uh, soak it in. But come, t- come Tuesday, we just work hard all day, all day through practice. And they come out, and Saturday, we come out with a W. All right, well, congratulations, Austin, and good luck with the preparation leading into next week. Have a good bus ride back. Big game for you. And I'm not talking to Solomon Grimes, and that defense pitched a shutout today, Solomon. Uh, and you had something to do with that from your linebacker position. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good game for us. We, uh, we set our goal. We didn't want him to score, and we accomplished that, so it was a good one for us. Coach talked, to, coach talked about wanting to have fun going into this game, and we knew that this team was overmatched, the team that we were about to play. Uh, but you still got to focus on fundamentals and playing good football. But when that fun aspect enters into it, doesn't that don't those things kind of clash a little bit? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, I, I always tell our guys, you know, linebackers always have fun because you know, we're an elite group, and not a lot of people get to play college football, especially at our level. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we always try to have fun, but they do clash. I mean, it, it is hard sometimes, but you know, we uh, we're coached well, and uh, we have a good team, so we, we always try to do everything fundamentally right. All right. We're going into a really big week of preparation for the number one team in the country, St. Xavier. We owe them some payback from last year. What do you remember about them from last year, and how badly do you want to beat them this year? Well, to answer your second question, I mean, this is this is something that we've all circled on our schedule, that's for sure, as far as the players, but uh, we definitely want to beat them. Um, but I remember from last year, there's a lot of speed on the field. They like to spread you out, good quarterback. Um, I, I think a lot of those guys are gone, but they're still a good team, and, and uh, they got good coaching. So, you know, our, our goal is, you know, the same every week in and week out. You know, we want to fly around defensively. Um, we want to definitely go get get a good, nice win at home. That's for sure. Would you really like to have a lot of fans come out and support oh, you next please. week? You know, the more the merrier. You know, uh, I heard something about a blackout. You know, anything to help us. You know, as far as the fans, I mean, they're they're a big part of this team. So definitely come out and support us. It's going to be a, a great Saturday for sure. All right, thanks very much and congratulations on the win today, guys. A great effort for the Cougars today. They really did and accomplished just about everything they wanted. And the main thing they wanted to accomplish was they wanted to stay healthy.